Hi everyone, it's Karen. So in this first challenge, what I'm going to do is show you how to link cartridges in Design Space, find the images on your cartridge, and then create something from one of your cartridges. So the first thing you needed to do was sign into Design Space. I've done that. So you can see now that my name is showing here. That means that I'm signed in. And the place to click to be able to link your cartridges is right here on this icon. And you're going to notice right over here, it says link cartridges. So that's what I'm going to click. And it's asking me to insert my cartridge in the machine. And my machine needs to be turned on. So I've now turned that on. That's why this is saying, please wait over here. So as soon as it sees my machine, it's going to show up over here. And you're going to select your Cricut device. And I have my Explorer Air 2 connected. So that's what I'm going to choose. So in my case, I still haven't linked this cartridge that I purchased, which is the cartridge for the Cricut Circle. It's called Split Monograms. So all I do is I push the cartridge into this slot over here. It's right above the open button. And you just push it in until it's firmly in place. And back on the computer, in Design Space, you can now see that it says Link over here. So that means that the machine has recognized the cartridge. So I'm going to click Link Cartridge in the bottom right. And notice that it says that cartridges can only be linked to one Cricut ID. So it has successfully linked my cartridge. And I can now leave this screen. If, if I wanted to link more, all I would have to do is remove the cartridge that's in there now, place the next cartridge in the slot, and continue exactly the same way. So I'm going to X out of here, and I'm going to now go in and create a new project. So I can remove the cartridge from the machine now. And I'm going to put it away for safekeeping. I need to hold on to it in case there's ever a problem with the cartridge being recognized in my account because this is my proof of purchase. To do that, I need to click Insert Images, and then to search for it on a cartridge, I need to click Cartridges, and then I can type in what I want in the search field over here. The name of the cartridge is Split Monograms. I'm just going to type Split over here, and press Enter, and that's going to display that cartridge for me, and these are all the images in it. So now I can click View All 161 Images. And now it's going to be easy for me to find that image that I want. You can see that it's right over here. So all I'm going to do is click it, and then click Insert Images to put it on my screen. Then I can resize it. I think I'm going to want that 4 inches tall. I'm going to click Edit. And this is where I can change my size. And I do want it to be proportional. So I'm just going to change the height to 4 inches, and that automatically changes the width to be proportional. I'm going to show you the layers over here. If you turn off the eye on one of these, it will hide that layer. So you see the turquoise has been hidden. If I click the eye to hide the black layer, you won't see the black anymore. So I've got both of those, and when I click Go, it's going to separate that out onto separate mats for me, a black mat and a turquoise mat. And I'm going to be cutting these out of two different colors of vinyl. And then I'm going to be layering that together. Okay, so I'm going to be using this really pretty adhesive foil from Cricut, as well as this mint colored vinyl from Cricut. So the computer shows me that it's going to be cutting the shadow layer first. So that's my adhesive foil. I'm going to put that into my machine. And I've got that on custom already, and that's what I want. I'm going to click Go on the machine. It wants me to select the Cricut device. And since I have custom selected, I can now choose the material I want. So this is an adhesive foil. And the machine is ready to go. Okay, so the K is cut out. 
now I'm going to cut my vinyl. So a vinyl layering project is not a beginner project, but this is what I had in my cartridges, so this is what I'm doing. You should pick something simpler, but this just shows you how simple it can be to do. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in my machine, and I'm going to change this to the regular vinyl setting. And it now will let me cut that in fast mode, so I'm going to do that. And I'll press go on the machine. When it cuts in fast mode, it makes more noise. So if you want to avoid that in case you're crafting late at night or something, don't use the fast mode. Okay, so this has been cut out here at the top. I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and cut this area out. So And I'll do the same thing with the foil. Okay, so I've weeded most of my design now. I'm just finishing up the last little pieces here. And then I'll just look at it closely to see if I've missed anything. So when you store it, sometimes it's going to be a little bit bent. It doesn't matter. Just push it back out and it's going to be fine. So that'll be fine to use. So I need to put my transfer tape onto this mint color. Burnish this down really well. And then I'm going to lift up the transfer tape. Making sure all the vinyl is coming away. And then all I need to do, look at my design, make sure that it's going to fit over properly. Well, trial and error, I made a mistake. It's not this way. You place the silver over the mint in this case. So luckily I hadn't yet burnished that down. I'm going to cut another piece of transfer tape so that I can do this the correct way. So you see there's no disaster if you make a mistake. If you make a mistake, most of the time you can fix it. So hopefully this piece is going to be large enough. It will be, it will work. If there are a couple of little pieces left hanging, it's all right because I'll still be able to pick it up. So we'll place this down over the design burnish this really well and do it correctly this time. Burnishing it makes it transfer easily to the transfer paper. And if it isn't transferring easily, just bend your paper until it does. You see how that's hanging off a little bit on the side? You may not see it very well, but it doesn't matter because as long as I have everything on here, I'll be able to place it onto the other layer. And there we go, that's all done. So now I need to transfer the turquoise back onto the backing. Just work it until it stays down. And then you transfer the silver portion onto the mint, making sure it's going to line up correctly. And then when I pull this away, I will have everything together and I can then put that into my machine.
So your challenge is to link a cartridge, choose a project from that cartridge, and then create it and post a picture in the group. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful to you.